Dear learners, in this principles of management and organizational behavior of our BBA program, I am going to take uh, unit 5 that is on organizing. This organizing part also I shall cover in 3 videos. Part 1 I am going to start now and all these 3 videos will be based on the self learning material which has already been provided to you and you must have read it. But still I believe after going through this video you will be able to understand the concepts better. And at the beginning of the unit there are 6 learning objectives and in this part 1 of this video we shall take up the learning objectives. First of all we shall try to know, understand what is the meaning of organizing. Organizing is a managerial function. After planning normally we discuss organizing. What is its meaning? That we shall discuss. Then we shall discuss the importance of organizing. So these are the two learning objectives we have taken. That what organizing is all about and what is the importance of organizing. So in order to understand the meaning, I have taken a, some portions from the self-learning material that you are going through. There it has been stated that the term organizing means systematic arrangement of activities to achieve the desired objectives of an organization. Systematic arrangement of activities. Say we want to achieve a 20% market share after 3 years. So in order to achieve that 20% market share, that is our objectives. We cannot achieve it in vacuum. We shall have to hmm, manufacture more, we shall have to sell more, we shall have to recruit more. So defined activities, manufacturing, a manufacturing will imply purchasing, manufacturing will imply inventory management. So it means systematizing all those activities so that the objectives of the organization can be achieved. Second one. Second aspect, organizing is bringing together various resources. So what will be those resources? Different kinds of resources, physical resources, financial resources, human resources and establishing relationship among these resources for achieving the common objectives. We have got a common objective of achieving 20% market share after 3 years. So to that extent we need to assemble the resources. We need to have human resources, more manpower. We need to have more financial resources, physical resources, more number of machineries, factories, land. We will have to establish the relationship about all these and we shall have to give responsibilities to the various functionaries. Third aspect is the primary focus of organizing is determining both what individual employees will do in an organization and how their individual efforts should be combined for attaining the specific objectives. Dear learners, what do we mean by an organization? An organization comprises of individuals, is not it? Mr. X, Mr. Y, Mr. Z, all these persons, 50 persons, 100 persons, all of them will make an organization. So what Mr. X will do, what Mr. Y will do, these are the individual activities. Then organization will call for how can we coordinate the activities of all these persons that is organizing. So primary focus of organizing is determining what the individual person will do, individual employees will do and how those individual efforts would be combined for attaining the specific objectives. We want to achieve 20% market share after 3 years. The term organizing is not same as the term organization. Organization implies a structure. Organizing implies determining that structure, taking care of the different aspects of determining that structure. Organization would be the result. Organizing is the process to arrive at that result. The term organizing is not same as the term organization. Organizing is a function of management, planning, organizing as we have discussed. Where as organization refers to a group of people who are working together to achieve some common objectives. It's a group activity, a team, right? So we have more or less, while discussing about the meaning of organizing, we have more or less discussed, we have more or less appreciated 
the importance of organizing in management. But still in your unit there are certain points. Now let us try to understand those points. First point has been that organization in organizing increases managerial efficiency. Because organizing calls for systematic effort. And we call understand, is not it? If there is no systematic effort in thing, so how can we afford to be efficient? So organizing increases managerial efficiency. It promotes specialization. The marketing person will do the marketing activity. Budget person, the finance person will do the finance activity only. Within finance, suppose one clerk is there who is taking care of the provident fund and the pension portion of an organization. One clerk is there who is taking care of the billing person, billing activities, hmm? say invoices, filing all those. So it gives scope for specialization. Each and every person will do the defined job. At the same time, it will not be that rigid also. Suppose the person who is taking care of the provident fund, pension, etc., is on leave, right? say for a long leave, say for three months, the organization cannot suffer for three months. So somebody will be asked to take care of that and to that extent a supervisor will be there. So these are all fallouts of an organizing process and this will ensure the flow of activities so that the activities do not get disturbed. It clarifies authority and power. Who will do what? A branch manager or say a C category branch will have a sanctioning amount of loan say rupees 5 lakhs. The SIP manager of a bank say we'll have a sanctioning capacity of say 50 lakhs. The chief general manager of the bank suppose has a sanctioning capacity of say well, a loan of say rupees 5 crores. These are what depending upon the level the authority is defined the power is defined. So it ensures better communication within the organization. Different meetings take place within the meetings the things are discussed and the organization takes stock of the situation and the organization moves ahead. It acts as a source of support, security and satisfaction for the employees. If the, the things are not organized, the people will suffer from dissatisfaction. It stimulates creative and innovative thinking. Organizing as a process will try to foster that. It will try to encourage innovation and creativity within the organization. Suppose that in the meetings, the brainstorming session, people will be forced, people will be provoked that you please share your ideas, discuss, think about something new. It helps in smooth delegation of authority. The chief manager will delegate some of his functions to the, say, deputy chief manager, deputy chief manager will delegate some of the functions to the manager, deputy manager. It provides scope for training and development. Today, someone is at the supervisor level. That person will look for a promotion at the assistant manager, assistant manager will look for deputy manager. So the promotion at the ladder, the climbing the ladder, that also will be made clear through the organizing process. So dear learners, we have discussed how important organizing is in management. We shall discuss some of the other aspects of organizing in the next two parts of the video. So with this, I have concluded the part one of organizing. We are coming to discuss about the part 2 of organizing uh, in the second part. Thank you.